For over a year now, the internet is breaking down with Porsche Taycan reviews, launch control reactions and a lot of drag racing comparisons. What? <laughs> but where exactly did this start? Did it begin with Tesla wake-up alarm? Or whole Porsche company actually started with an electric vehicle? To understand the whole thing, we need to go back in time. When it comes to electric cars, it seems like everything started with Tesla. Actually, it's true and not at the same time. It's true because Tesla slapped other car manufacturers in the face with extremely efficient machines like Model S. No one, including Porsche, was waiting a car like this. A four-door family sedan almost beats every supercar in straight line. Yes. But electric motors were nothing new. Actually, they were as old as combustion engines. However, at the time, the infrastructure of batteries was not that good as petrol counterparts. Also, they were almost three times more expensive to produce. So the curtains closed quickly for electric cars for almost a century until a crazy guy with an even crazier vision like traveling to Mars stepped on stage and said, we are going to make it. From this moment, every car manufacturer started to think about electric powertrains. And Porsche was one of them. But there is something interesting about Porsche's relationship with electric cars. The first engineering training that Ferdinand Porsche had wasn't combustion based, it was electrical. As a result, the first car that Mr. Porsche developed had electric wheel hub motor and batteries. At the time, Ferdinand Porsche was working for a company called Lona, which made electric cars. He helped to develop the company's first all-electric vehicle and engraved the code P1 on almost every part of the car. The code P1 stands for the first Porsche design. In 1901, Ferdinand Porsche unveiled his first creation that carries his name. The Lona Porsche Mixta Hybrid. A car that runs both on electric and petrol motors. In 1901. So, petrol heads, the die-hard petrol heads, please stop cursing prize drivers. Even the mighty Porsche started with the same idea. I'm not going to dive deep into the roots of the Porsche DNA. All you need to know is, Taycan is not the first one, it is just the first complete package. So, the Taycan, what does it mean? The name Taycan created by two separate Turkish words, Tay and Khan. Actually, the correct way of pronouncing the Khan part of the name is actually Can, not Taycan, it's Tay Can in Turkish. In English, Tay means cold or fall, so the Tay is a newborn spirited cold just like the one in the Porsche emblem. The second part of the name, Can or Khan, as everyone else says, means life or soul. When you combine them together as Taycan, it is actually a pretty cool name that brings a new era for Porsche. Once again with the Taycan, Porsche set the bar so high, even the most successful electric-powered car, Model S, couldn't keep up with it. But this is not a coincidence. We are talking about Porsche, a company that evolved in the middle of motorsport arena. It is the most Le Mans winning brand to this day, and they made the fastest road legal production car around Nürburgring, the 911 GT2 RS. So they know what they are doing when it comes to fast performance cars. Also, they know a thing or two about designing beautiful and timeless objects. Just look at the 911. It's nearly unchanged for almost 60 years, but it still looks fantastic. My point is, Taycan and Model S comparison is pointless. Cars are not just motors and batteries. There's a lot of things you need to be an expert on if you want to make a good, cool looking and fast efficient car. There are interior, design, suspension, weight distribution and so on. If you want to make a good car in every aspect, you need to be expert in every part of this things. Taycan has over 100 years of experience behind it. Should we expect something less just because it's electric? We shouldn't because it's still a Porsche. I'm not going to chatter about spec sheets and numbers. There's a plenty of videos about them. And I can't say anything about how it drives because I didn't drive one yet. 
maybe in the future. But I can recommend a man who is a modern day legend when it comes to Porsches. Go and watch Chris Harris's video about Taycan and how it drives. I will leave a link down below. And also I want to say something about myself. Uh, this is my first English video in YouTube. I made a lot of videos in my native language, but this is the first English video that I recorded for YouTube. As you can see, there was a lot of mistakes, at least I'm guessing there was a lot of mistakes during the video. And there will be a lot more in the upcoming videos. <laughs> I'm sorry for that at the beginning, at the first video. So this was it about Taikam. See you later, people. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Is that right? Is that the uh, right way to say goodbye? <laughs> Please leave a comment below. I know my English is bad. It's bad.